NVIDIA's RTX 50 series is here to take gaming and productivity to the next level. Are you ready for an upgrade? This new series is packed with power and features that will make your gaming and creative experiences even better. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or a content creator, the RTX 50 series has got you covered. Here's what makes the RTX 50 series so special. Blackwell Architecture. This new architecture is all about efficiency and sustainability. It uses advanced thermal solutions like vapor chambers to keep your GPU cool and innovative fan designs to reduce noise without affecting performance. Plus, it's designed to use less power so you can save money on your electricity bill. And guess what? The Blackwell architecture also uses machine learning algorithms to optimize performance dynamically, so you always get the best possible efficiency while gaming or working. Performance Boost The RTX 50 series offers a significant performance boost over the RTX 40 series. With more CUDA cores and enhanced memory bandwidth, you can enjoy smoother 8K gaming and simulations. And if you're into ray tracing and DLSS 4.0, you'll be amazed at the lifelike visuals you can achieve. This series also includes support for the latest DirectX and Vulkan APIs, so you'll be compatible with future game titles and creative software. Let's compare the RTX 5090, RTX 4090, RTX 5080, and RTX 4080 GPUs. The RTX 5090 is the top of the line model, while the RTX 4090 is still a powerful choice. The RTX 5090 has more CUDA cores and a higher boost clock speed, making it great for demanding tasks like 4K gaming and video editing. The RTX 4090, on the other hand, has a higher memory bandwidth and a more advanced AI system, making it a great choice for content creators and gamers who need the best performance possible. The RTX 5090 also offers improved tensor cores, enhancing AI-driven applications and allowing for more immersive virtual reality experiences. The RTX 5080 is a more affordable option than the RTX 5090, while the RTX 4080 is still a powerful choice. The RTX 5080 has a higher boost clock speed and more memory bandwidth, making it a great choice for gamers who want to play at high settings. The RTX 4080, on the other hand, has a more advanced AI system and a higher memory bandwidth, making it a great choice for content creators and gamers who need the best performance possible. The RTX 5070 directly competes at the level of the RTX 4090 while being significantly less expensive, making it an exceptional value. The RTX 50 series emphasizes power efficiency for smaller setups. It also supports PCIe 5.0 and has upgraded display outputs for better connectivity. The RTX 5070's compact design makes it ideal for small form factor PCs while still delivering impressive graphics performance. Cooling Technology in Laptops When it comes to cooling laptops, there are several options available. Some laptops use fans to cool down the GPU, while others use liquid cooling systems. Liquid cooling systems are more effective at cooling down the GPU, but they can be more expensive. Fans are a more affordable option, but they may not be as effective at cooling down the GPU as liquid cooling systems. The RTX 50 series laptops have super cooling tech to keep them running smoothly and for a long time. They've got these fancy vapor chamber cooling systems that suck up heat from the GPU and other important parts. And guess what? They've got these dynamic fan systems that adjust their speed based on how hot it is and what you're doing. So they're quiet and cool even when you're gaming or doing something creative. Plus, they've got these extra thermal vents and cooling pads that make sure there's plenty of airflow even when you're pushing them to the limit. Now, here's the exciting part. These laptops will also have the latest Intel and AMD processors, along with mini LED displays and super fast refresh rates. The RTX 5070 starts at around $499, and the RTX 5090 is expected to be a bit pricier, at around $1,599. Pre-orders are probably going to start soon, and they're expected to be available by mid-2025. NVIDIA is planning to offer different models to suit different budgets, so there's something for everyone. So, what do you think about the RTX 50 series? Are these features enough to upgrade your setup, or are you waiting for the competition? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Techverse, and hit the bell icon for more tech updates.